hello hi hi hello i don't know if if my channel needs to go on hiatus for a while but i'm afraid if i do that i'll lose my subscribers i only have 153 i think um which which, which is still really good and i pr appreciate everybody for that it's amazing this channel is less than a year old and I've already got over a hundred um <laughs> sorry I can't I'm nervous so I'm like hyperventilating and so the mask I I can't breathe I'm sorry this is in no way should perform any indication about wearing masks in real life I just I can't breathe most of my breathing is through the mouth, and if that's covered, then it's really, really hard for me to breathe. As I said, I'm nervous, so I'm kind of <sighs> taking a lot of <laughs> deep breaths. I'm sorry if you can hear the, all the breathing and stuff. Anyways, um, I'm kind of at an impasse right now. Um, I have been doing the every other day Corona or vlog Corona Corona thingy um, because like I wanted to challenge myself because I hadn't been posting as often as I should and um, a lot of people you know it's it's a trend a lot of people are doing vlog Corona you know a lot of people do like vlogmas and Thanksgiving vlogging whatever and vlogween and so I wanted to jump on that bandwagon, you know, quite frankly, um, I do it too. And, and also, you know, of course that I do actually want to support those who are, you know, having to go through this crap. Um, but I'm not happy and I haven't been happy for quite a while. Um, I mean, the videos that I'm doing are are fun, entertaining, you know, like Bohemian Rhapsody stuff and the Guitar Hero and whatever. Um, it's fun, but it's not, it's not me. It's not like, when I think of videos that I want to do next, it's like thinking of, okay, what, what's trending or what is something that is trending that a furry hasn't done like like for example I haven't seen many furries that are doing vlogorona you know um so trying to be unique kind of with something trendy like combining that and not really whether it actually fits my channel if it's actually something I'm interested in if it's actually something I care about um not to be cliche, but I think I'm at the very, very, very cliche point where I can either continue on as I am and be making videos that are trendy, that I try to make videos that, you know, lowest common denominator that please a bunch of people, um, and try really hard to get views and subs and all of that try really hard to grow my channel or I go back to how it was in the beginning and I make videos that I like that I care about that maybe don't get a lot of views you know it's very disappointing when they don't when I put so much work into it but like like for example um, I thought for sure the video where I recorded my service dog start reacting for real, tasking for real, to things that were going on with me because most of the videos you see are examples of psychiatric service dog tasks, but it's, um, fake is not, is not the right word, but it's, 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 it's from a training standpoint, like, they the owner, handler, whatever, trainer, does something to get a reaction out of the dog, like, in a training type situation, in other words, like, they're not 
actually having a seizure or they're not actually fainting. They just you know, act like it to show how the dog reacts to something like that. And nothing against them at all. Nothing against that, but I just thought, hey, it might be really cool and helpful if I'm able to catch on camera real reactions, real tasking. And I got some views, um, but not not nearly as many. I, I thought it would be really popular. Of course, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but I spent months dragging a camera around with me everywhere of practically having my, my phone on recording like constantly and then having to sift through all of that footage, you know, till finding something. You know, I didn't purposely, I didn't purposely get anxious or whatever to get a reaction from Spirit. I just recorded the heck out of myself for a long time to catch moments that came up. And I was lucky enough that I did, that I was able to catch such moments. Um, or like my saw videos, I know, I know, like, it's kind of unique in the fact of not a lot of people, <laughs> like, it's, it, it, not a lot of people are obsessed with the Saw movies as I am. Not a lot of people see them in the way that I do, you know, I get that. I, I totally get that, but just, I put my heart and soul into that project because those movies mean so much to me. You know, they literally saved my life. Now, go watch the video <laughs> and understand more of what I'm talking about. But uh, I spent I spent so much time and energy on that, and I, again, I don't I don't expect people to fully understand or to get a you know big reaction, whatever, because they they're not there. They can't go there with me. Um, but it's still such, it is a bummer to put so much effort into something and it's like, you know, cricket, cricket, chirp, chirp, no reaction. Whereas instead, I do ASMR and, whoo, get more subscribers. And I am not a huge fan of ASMR. <laughs> um... And I'm starting to get kind of tapped out of the things that I can do, you know. <laughs> um, I don't mean to be ironic with that, because tapped out, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have a fancy Tascam, what should I call it, microphone, where, you know, you can rub on it and the, like, the side that you touch, the right side, that'll correlate to the person's listening, their right ear, etc. I don't, I don't have that. I mean, hell, half the time I'm recording from my phone, you know, um, and it's, it's, it's a Sam, Samsung, Android, you know, it's a good phone, but it's not the best. Or, or like right now, I'm using a, a, a webcam that's, again, it, it does the job, but it's, it's not the best. Um, at first it was fun to, you know, not make fun of, but just be a little corny with the ASMR and finding different ways to, to do it because I didn't want to be just stuck in front of a camera of, you know, picking up different things and, okay, I'm going to tap this thing now, or I'm going to shake this thing now, um, and it's just, you know, stuck in front of the camera. I wanted it to be different locations and whatever and, like, you know, the bigger thing um so it, it, it was and that was fun and i love doing it you know my way but i'm starting to run out of ideas for it you know there's only so many times i can like tap on a candle there's only so many times i can jingle a collar and i'm really really not good at the role play stuff um and it doesn't give me really pleasure to do that kind of thing anymore because it's it's again I, I'm thinking of okay what is popular what is trending versus you know how can I put my own spin on it 
um, and so it's like I either I feel trapped kind of cliche trapped between either going back to how it was it in the beginning I was wearing my fursuit every single day I am not kidding even when I didn't have a channel yet and then when I first got the channel I was wearing this every single day um, for the heck of it whether I just wear it around the house or more so I would put it on and walk around outside and you know get in touch type of thing with the character I don't know it sounds cheesy but whatever I was wearing it I was wearing a tail every single day everywhere and now it's like I only put this on to make a video and it's like oh it's gonna be hot I have to find all the pieces blah 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 it's more of a chore it's more of a chore now it's um I'm not um I don't know who I am anymore I don't know what it means to me to be a furry like to me I you know I can give you a definition but but for me what does it mean for me to be a furry what does it mean for me to have a coyote persona what does it mean for me to have this specific Niha persona? What does it mean to me to have a YouTube channel? In the beginning, this I stated this channel is supposed to be for mental health awareness plus, you know, furriness. And I seem to have lost sight of that. But I don't know I don't I don't know what I don't know how that translates into content. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't really go out with spirit right now, so it's not really getting spirit videos. And I already did a video of what a panic attack really looks like when I filmed a real one. Well, it started out fake and it turned into a real one. already did that. Oh, and that video also didn't get a whole lot of responses. That's how... You know people said oh well you know show like the before and after with or without first of all I don't want to show my face <laughs> um and it's just it's 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 a thing in my head it, like I might like have reactions like like jittering or you know whatever but it's like it's all in my head I guess I could like do a monologue say a monologue but again that that's that's also limited. I want to get back to the roots of, of why I even bought this fursuit to, to begin with. Of what, what possessed me to drop the cash to get this on the first day of the furcon? What possessed me to go to a furcon in the first place? I, I don't even remember. I know I found it by just googling fur cons in Arizona and it came up and I just said I'm going who can, can someone please come with me but how I got out into all this in the first place I don't I don't even really know no clue I haven't even seen Zootopia <laughs> I know that's a major furry sin but it's like I, I don't I don't even know how this all started I can't trace anything back to specific I don't know it's just it just feels like poof some one day here I am I'm a furry I don't know I don't know what to do anymore with this channel it's not making me happy to do the random shit it's I, I don't want to be a pocky fur I don't want to be a celebrity but I was hoping that this would lead to other things that I could, that it would lead to a Patreon that I could use for other goals that I have in life. But now it's like I'm struggling for content on just this channel. How the fuck would I come up with content for a Patreon? Um, and I kind of plateaued here at a hundred and you know around 150, and I'm like. Okay, I guess this is just going to be a hobby now. It's never going to turn into anything more. I mean, it's, it's not fair. It's, like, 
Majira does random shit all the time. Or... I don't know, it seems like everybody's got a thing. Um, telephone, obviously, with her squeaking and stuff. Again, nothing against any of these people. I'm just using it as an example. Um, I can't, <laughs> I can't remember what his name is. Oh, what is it? Zusho, I think. Anyways, um, he's deaf. That's his thing. Uh, and, and I know, like, they started from nothing as well, and they just worked their way up, blah, 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 blah. But it's, I don't see myself getting to that point with what I'm doing now. I don't, I don't see growth happening because I don't know where to go from here. I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know who this channel or what this channel is anymore. So how the hell can there be any growth when it's stagnant? People keep telling me, oh, well, you need to communicate with other furries in the community and that, you know, you need to market yourself. That's, that's the only way, like, I, I get that, but if I don't have good content, on my channel then well, then what's the point I can't keep going with just the random stuff some of it is, is fun but it's it's meaningless my channel has no meaning it's just I'm a coyote and I do random stuff occasionally I do really bad ASMR and now I got it on like this weekly car dance thing. Who am I? What? What? What am I? What do I? This may be TMI, but I've I've looked into like human pet and puppy play stuff as well, and it's like that kind of fits. But even that kind of doesn't fit. Theory and even kind of fits for me with my mentality but it, but they but it doesn't all it doesn't fit as well it just there's it's so extreme so i i don't i'm having such a hard time placing who i am what i'm supposed to do what my purpose is i know that's like so cheesy first world problem existentialism but, but if i'm not careful this is going to send me into a declining spiral it just feels like I should just give up on everything be happy with what I have give up on any future desires or bigger things and just you know shut up and go along with the ride I want to go back to that place where, I mean, I was still discovering of what it means to be a furry because I was just, I was just brand new, but where something just, something in me just drew me to, to this suit. I had in my mind already that I had a coyote persona. Oh, well, I actually already technically had the, um, unicorn tiger one because it's like, oh, my favorite animals. But it's like, but I like, you know, <laughs> nothing against cats. This is just, this is just me. But I get along with dogs better. I have more experience with dogs better, etc. It's like, okay, so I really should have a canine one. Uh, well, I don't want to be just a regular, regular dog. Um, I thought at first, well, maybe I could be a lab like spirit or a beagle or something. Like, no, that's that's just, that's just blah. And like, oh, coyote, that's you no. Know, you know, the, all the attributes, attributes of coyotes and whatever. It just, it just called to me and then this suit and I saw it and I was like, holy crap, there's a coyote suit. And my first con ever of a brand new virgin furry. <laughs> so new to the fandom. And there, right there, was a freaking coyote partial suit.
because like it was like it was meant to be <laughs> um and i didn't even have i re refrained from getting a channel for i don't know a year or so or more maybe i don't even know um because i was trying to come up with well well what the heck am i going to put on my could put on my channel and then at some point it was just like you know what i've waited too long let's just you're thinking about it too much just do it and i probably should have thought about it more <laughs> um but i guess you can never really be prepared if you're if you're having to think that much you just you have to just do it but there was something in me back then um gosh when was that 18 2018 something like that i don't know that i did it i chose it i wanted it because it made me feel good that it felt right that it that it was showing on the outside what i was screaming on the inside i am a different person when i'm in here I mean, no, I don't literally, like, transform to Miha, but I am different. This is different. Taking on this persona of this, or even if I don't have the suit of, of just trying to connect myself with coyotes, of, of <laughs> trying to howl like them, of, um, you know, out in the desert where there's nobody else. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not embarrassing myself or in my car. Or just listening to them howling or, or, or teaching myself about them. It's like coming home. It's like peace and tranquility and courage. Confident. It's, I feel almost invincible when I'm here and here. It's, it, it allows me to be something that I normally am not. <laughs> I want to share that. I, that was my original intent for this channel was to, sh to share that. To share, this is a, you want to put it simply, it's a coping skill for me. P -p how, do you put, how do you put that on film? How do you do that other than me just talking and you can only talk about it so much and you you have like people say oh we'll do like a, you know before and after and what's going on in your mind then what's going like you can only do that so much b before you you know before it dries up and then what it's not like i am you know i'm a mom with kids and it's about kids because kids constantly do things and they're growing and they're changing and so there's more content. I mean, yeah, I'm technically, you know, growing, changing, whatever. Well, how do you, how do you represent that in a video? I, other than like this right now with an annoying, long ass talking head thing. Which I really wanted to, to try to avoid because I know it's boring as fuck. But I don't know what else to do. I'm lost. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to do with this channel. And I might just keep, you know, doing the random shit so that I at least have some kind of content. But I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't want to talk about myself too much. I, I try to ask people like in the comments of like, you know, feel free to share if you want to or give examples or yada 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 and then, and then I never get any kind of interaction like that ever I 
I don't know, maybe I'm not ready to share her Miha with the world. Except for like outings and you know, when kids come up and hug me. I think that's why it's so I love it. I love when kids come up because it's like there's no judgment. It's just pure joy. There might be a little, you know, fear and trepidation at first. But they they want nothing more than to interact with me because I make them happy. They make me happy. No questions asked. Just pure joy. How do I translate that into sharing that into a video? How do, how do I translate things that are feelings and emotions and thoughts into, into content for a video? What do I do that isn't talking head crap all the freaking time? Because I know that's... Is it? I know that's boring. I still... I want to share, Miha. I want to share that... That this can be a coping skill. I don't want it to be... I just cut myself off and I just enjoy it on my own because then that defeats the purpose, you know, I, it gives me confidence and security and, you know, it's like, so, in, <laughs> so I should share since I'm able to be more social. I don't know what to do. I've lost sight of the meaning of this channel. I don't know, I, I've i tried to do videos that I care about and they're not viral enough. You know, I, I always think of like Wreck-It Ralph, the second one where he's doing all the weird, weird random stuff to get likes, you know, whatever hurts. Um, you know, the eating the weird stuff and the unboxing and all that. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now, but I'm only doing things that are, that I think will bring in views. And I, like I said, and sometimes they are actually fun, you know, like Guitar Hero is fun, but that doesn't speak anything about me. That doesn't, that doesn't, it's, that's not me sharing anything. It's sharing, you know, a brief, you know, few minutes of fun, but that's not... I'm not expressing myself. This is a form of art. It is. It really is. And it's my art is saying nothing. It's, I don't know, it's the equivalent of, of doodles or, or I'm coloring in, you know, coloring book pages. I'm filling in, filling in the blanks that are already pre-made there. I'm not drawing my own picture from scratch. I'm just filling in what's already there. I'm having a really, really hard time lately. I don't have a therapist anymore because she was having health issues, so she quit suddenly. My the group that I have at my clinic, literally my group, because I came up with it and pitched it and everything. I mentioned that a long time ago. I haven't been going lately because it's fucked up, because it turned into what I knew it would eventually, and it is just the check-in group, not the format that was set up in the beginning that I came up with, that my mom and I came up with actually. That has been just tossed out the window. And I have I have no one else. I don't have any other friends or family. I my boyfriend tries for his part. He tries as much as he can to understand, but I have no one to talk to about these things. And it's and it's not just being a furry, it's other things. I've tried to find groups and 
Uh, her boyfriend thinks that I'm not trying hard enough with, with finding groups, but... I don't know. I feel very alone, very lost, very pointless. So, I don't know what's going to happen with this channel going forward. I'll probably still try to put out videos just so that it doesn't die, just to, so it keeps going. But, I don't know how to get back to that place in the beginning without sacrificing, you know, sacrificing feelings. And I, I don't know how to, I literally don't know how to brainstorm content to support these things. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Sorry that was such a long rant. Um, I just, I just needed to get that off my chest. And let you guys know what's going on. Um, yeah. That's about it for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.